Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time now. And one of the things that I hear all the time is, you make it look so easy. Well, that's because I think it is. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques, and I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own jewelry. So if you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. All right, so to make our pendant today, we're gonna to be using about 14 inches of two millimeter leather. I also have one of these new pendants from Tierra Cast. It was from, uh, I think maybe their second to last line and it's one of my favorite pendants. It has this beautiful tree on the front and on the back it says, not all those who wander are lost. I absolutely love this. I think it's so versatile and it comes in four different colors. We also have some of their crimpable links, although we're not gonna be crimping them today, we're gonna to be gluing them in. And this uh, will accommodate two pieces of two millimeter leather. And then I have some six millimeter jump rings that are 18 gauge. We're gonna be using some Loctite super glue. You could also use E6000 or GS Hypo or super new glue, whatever glue you have kicking around. I just really like this one on leather. You do have to be careful though. You will see it on my fingers here. I was um, getting uh, some of it stuck on during the, when I was making this piece originally and it's really hard to get off, but it's a really great product. And as far as tools, we're gonna be needing a pair of scissors, a pair of bent chain nose pliers and a pair of pliers. So let's get started. All right, so in this particular kit, you're gonna get to choose the color of your leather and the color of your metals. And all we're gonna be giving you is enough to make the pendant. So I'm gonna show you a completed piece later on, but I'm trying to keep things affordable during these a little bit more tough economic times. Everybody has little extra parts kicking around. So I, I will show you what I did with mine just as a really simple thing. But um, we're gonna be giving you just what you see here in your kit. And we're gonna to try to keep it as affordable as possible. All right, so we're gonna be making a double coin, um, knot and they're really simple to do you just have to follow a couple simple steps so i'm going to start at one end of my leather let me get rid of some of this stuff to make sure that you can see what i'm doing here all right so to make our double coin knot we're going to be taking our leather and i'm starting at one end you just need a little bit at one end and i'm going to just create a little loop so now i've got my long side on the top and then i'm going to create another one so you kind of just roll it back on itself so that you've got something that looks like that and now we're gonna take these two tails and we're just gonna swap them over. So it's hard to show you, but I wanna have them more parallel than anything like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this long one and I'm gonna go under like this. And now it's basically just going over and under and over and under that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go over top through that first little ear and then I'm gonna come up through that center. I have to hold on to it else or else it goes everywhere. So now I'm gonna go underneath that one there. So you just go over, under, over, and then under. And then when you pull it, you can see now it's starting to create that um, little sort of uh, knot. So now it's gonna look all sort of higgledy-piggledy, that's my technical word of the day, <laughs> until you kind of boss it around. So we wanna have more on one side than the other because we're gonna be creating barrel knots too. Oh, that's the one thing I forgot. I'm gonna pull that out right now from my um, arsenal. We're going to be also using a barrel knot tube. I forgot all about that. Okay, so what you're going to do now is it's kind of like, you know, when you're, when you've are you got a pair of uh, shoes on and you need to adjust your laces so that they are even, where you sort of have to pull one side and then pull the other. That's kind of what we're going to be doing. I don't want to just give this a big tug. This bottom part, I want to have a little tiny bit of a, a longer loop. So I find the best thing is to just keep sort of pulling on it and I kind of analyze it. I'm like, okay, I wanna make this piece, I wanna tighten up this hole. So I'm gonna pull that way and kind of tighten it up. Now I'm gonna pull this way. You know, you just kind of have to keep playing around with it. I don't wanna have this loop too big. So now I can see that this piece comes over here. So pull like that and then pull back. So it's just kind of like figuring out where you want it. So that's about the size of the loop that I want on the bottom. And now I have to figure out how to make this tighter without making this loop up here smaller. So, you know, if you kind of hold on to it, it doesn't move as much in your hand. 
and it's not something that you can do in one fell swoop. You have to keep trying um, different things. So I know that I need to make this a little tighter, but if I pull on this one, let's see. Yeah, that tightened it up there. Now if I pull on that one, it tightened it up a little too much. So the other thing I do find is if I keep a pair of round nose pliers around, um, it does help. If I want to create a little bit of a, a gap in here, if I put round nose pliers in there, it'll kind of open that up a bit. If you use regular pliers, you could cut your leather. So, you know, this can take a little bit of sort of maneuvering. And, you know, so if you want to have a little bit longer one like that, you can. You just kind of have to like make it look the way that you want. So honestly, I would probably spend a little bit more time sort of backing this up a bit. It's not too bad. That um, is a little bigger than I would like, but we may just go with that because, you know, sometimes when I start monkeying with things on camera, it can get a little bit kind of too long. So that's actually not too bad. So what I've got is a nice um, tight little knot here with a loop on the bottom. And yeah, I think that looks okay. We can work with that. My uh, other sample is gonna look completely different, but that's okay. That's the sort of the thing with knots is that, that no two knots are ever gonna look the same. All right, so now we have this going. I'm now gonna turn it so that I've got the longer piece on top. So I'm gonna then take my barrel knot tube and I'm gonna create a triple knot. So just go around once, twice, three times. So I'm working towards the knot here. And then you're gonna go up through the back side and then pull that through. So the reason that we have a little bit longer piece of leather here is that it's impossible to make barrel knots with just a tiny little piece of leather. So we really do have to have the right amount or it's just, I know it's wasteful, but um, that's kind of what you need. So now one of the things that I like to do is kind of jiggle my knot a little bit and get it exactly where I want it. I want it to be nice and neat. So you can see on one side, this is what I'm gonna call the back side. You see two with your little um, sort of piece like that. And then on the other side, you've got your three, which is gonna be our sort of right side. And that's what I wanna have on top there. So I just wanna make sure that this is really snug. And I'm just kind of pulling on both sides. I don't wanna pull it so tight on the, um, side that moves the entire piece though, because I don't want it to jam on top of here. I do want it, you know, down, but I don't want it to buckle up everything. But that's kind of what we want. We want to see a, I'm just trying to move it around a little bit. There we go, that's what I wanted. I want to see a barrel knot, and I wanted to. See, I want to see the Celtic knot there. So, okay, so now you have to get brave, and we're going to cut our leather. So if you're nervous about doing this, you can cut it a little bit longer and then you will see that when you go to put this on it's going to be too long but you know what you can always cut it shorter so I know now that I need to reduce it by that much so I am going to then go down like that and then I'm going to dry fit it before and that could even go just a hair smaller I want it to sit right on top now on these, they're double-sided, so you have to decide what, which side you want it on, and I'm gonna go with that today. So I wanna make sure that my triple part is the good side. I mean, you know, it doesn't look so bad like that, but I think it's kinda, of, it, it definitely does look like the back side to me. So now I am going to take some of my glue, and you just don't wanna to use too much. I used a little too much on my sample, and um, I have it everywhere. So I just put enough that when you put this on, it will adhere. So we're gonna let that dry for just a couple minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, so now I've let that dry a little bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take two of our jump rings and open these up. So I'm gonna take one like that and just use my bent chain nose and I'm gonna run it through the front of my pendant and then I'm going to attach it like that and then do that up, and then I'm, I'm going to repeat. Now I have two jump rings that um, I put in there just because I wanted it to have a little bit of a beefier look. Um, so let's see. Now that's flipped around to the other side, so I just wanna make sure I've got everything going in the right direction. And do that up. 
And then in your kit, we will give you another uh, of the same jump rings to put through the top of the um, crimp up here so that if you do want to continue with what I made, you've got your um, the same jump ring as you have in the piece of the pendant. So that's what it's going to look like. I think it's really, really cute. And I'm just going to show you the other piece too. All right, so there's the sample that I made. You can see that this knot isn't quite as tight as this one. So you can really play around with it and make it your own. I have a little bit shorter in here than this one, but you know what, it doesn't really matter. Knots are not meant to be identical whenever you make them, but what it does have that is the same is that I've got my three wrap barrel knots uh, wraps on the top here, and I've got my uh, crimp on there. And on this one, all I did was I added some um, little dangles and then I added some simple ball chain. I think this would make a really, really cute necklace, just a super simple necklace like this. And this is kind of your feature area. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I really love working with leather and knots. It's one of my favorite things. And so I've combined two of my favorite knots. We've got our uh, coin knot, our double coin knot, and we've got a barrel knot. You gotta love it. <laughs> anyway, if you did love this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I do love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so. The kit will be available in the description box below. It will take you to uh, my website, which is fully secure, and you will get what is shown on this piece here. These are all just extras that you can make at home. You can add whatever you want. If you did want to buy some, these are four millimeter um, fire polish. We've also got uh, the jump rings for sale. We have head pins. We also carry this ball chain. We carry all kinds of stuff. So you can uh, completely make it your own. So there you go. Thanks so much. And we will see you on the next one.